children, I have two children now. Uh, so <clears throat> my life is, well, it's completely different, but also a lot of my life is actually the same, because before you have children, you always think, uh, you know, if, if I have kids, everything will be completely different, which is actually not that true, because you still continue to do uh, the same stuff that you do before. Yeah. So uh, I'm uh, a musician as well as doing other stuff and uh, I was a little bit worried that uh, you know I'd just stop making music and just concentrate on raising kids and all that but it turns out that I actually uh, gave music more time after having kids mm -hmm. so that's maybe the biggest difference yes uh, th this is there's one thing that I think is very um, uh, important I get inspiration from my, my children. Uh -huh. It's their enthusiasm and not staying too long on yeah. things and thinking it over and over and over again, which I think is really important in, in art, in all yeah. art that you do. Yeah. Because your first instinct mm -hmm. is usually the right one. Uh, and it's okay to, you know, to finish, uh, to finesse your craft and make mm -hmm. it better and better. But I think your thought has to be uh, kind of as pure as you can get it. Mm -hmm. And pure thought comes from children. Wow. Yeah. So that's what I'll do. I have not made a master plan. So uh, I would like to uh, integrate um, music and, and art more into my life than I do already. Because uh, most of my spare time goes into my children, mm -hmm. which I love. So I would like to have some kind of uh, good balance between working as a musician and being able to do my own stuff so yeah I guess I see myself as a musician when I meet you 10 years from now <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well <laughs> I would say definitely having a son who's now 10 years old yes. and a few months yeah, that was definitely the, the biggest change. Yeah. It changes your life completely, uh, makes everything very different. Uh -huh. But it's, yeah, good. It's good. fun to see him grow and become, you know, get his own personality uh -huh. and stuff like that. It, it, like I said, it's very different. Yeah. Um, most of our friends have kids. We met them possibly because they had kids it's not like we were looking for people with kids you had kids no we can't hang out with you mm -hmm. uh, but it was through school and uh, play dates where your kids playing with somebody else and or you meet the parents at school and you find out that you've got things in common and you become friends like that uh, so everybody's more adult right uh -huh, than yeah. a goldsmith Mm -hmm. At Goldsmith, uh, there was all students. Uh, I don't think anybody had a job there. No. Nothing <laughs> uh, at all. Well, a little more of this. Mm -hmm. Probably a little more of something else. Um, it's really hard to say because, like, I don't know, like, getting older, mm -hmm. it kind of feels like maybe we're um, settling somehow you know? Here? yeah uh -huh. or even in life you know in terms of like what your what our phase mm -hmm. is and it kind of feels like uh, the older you get the longer the phases get but I don't know if I'm really ready to experiment too yeah. much with new phases Yes. It might happen, I have no idea. Mm -hmm. So much. So much. Too much. Where do I start? Mm -hmm. The biggest thing was the realization that 
leaving Norway mm -hmm. at 19 mm -hmm. and being in London for 10 years, yeah. in which time I met you. Yes. And then coming back to Norway 10 years later as 29, nothing changed. I had just started here mm -hmm. and I thought I'd moved 10 years forward. Uh, yeah. But I hadn't. In fact, I had literally just gone up like this. Okay. Ten years more, it's but, kind of but still nothing had changed your mind in my head in yeah. a way, like or the way I behaved or mm -hmm. choose to behave or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so I felt like I lost a lot of years. Interesting. I'm a documentarist. I love it. You know, I love to just see what happens. Mm. Meet crazy people, walk down a path, and and document it, and have some mm. crazy stories. But I realized I was only taking pictures and filming everyone else's story and not making my own. And this is a huge realization since coming back here. And that's maybe the biggest change mm -hmm. than what I am right now. Yeah. And this bothers me. Yeah. I feel like time is running out. Yes. I'm very aware of everything always changes. Mm -hmm. If you have an opportunity, you need to grab it now. I have a lot of anxiety anchored in London mm -hmm. because I had a lot of ambition there. Yeah. And I don't think I necessarily knew how to manage myself yes. as a human being uh -huh. and get things done. Mm -hmm. So I failed a lot in mm -hmm. London. Mm -hmm. So I don't go back to London. Yeah. And it's sad because I have many friends there, and uh, but it, uh, it's a different epoch. It's a different oh, yeah. era. It's mm -hmm. um, this book is closed, and mm. for my mind, I have to close it. I have to keep it closed. If I keep reading in the pages, I go crazy. Mm -hmm. So this has changed, yeah. and I feel sad about it because I miss a lot of it. Yeah. Uh, the dreams, the hopes, oh, yeah. the the people, the mm -hmm. places. Mm -hmm. I am not in contact with a lot of people because I don't want anything from them. But I miss them. Most of the people I love, I never speak to. But it's... It's hard to speak to people you love. From now and yeah. then 10 more years. <laughs> I don't know. I really don't know. I am scared of it. <laughs>